The Biomedical Data Science Master Program is offered by NTU School of Biological Sciences. The program focuses on the data analysis methods in biomedical science, such as uh, artificial intelligence. Based on the required level of data science, there are three tracks in the program. The biotechnology track, the bioinformatics track, and the artificial intelligence track. Typically, there are two types of applicants to our program. The first type are those with uh, traditional biology undergraduate education who would like to study more data science and apply the knowledge learned to biomedical research. The second type are those with data science background who are interested in the applications of computational methods to life sciences. In modern biomedical industry, most research works such as development of new drug are data-driven, which means there is a high demand for hybrid data science biology talent. So our hope is that after the master's training in our program, the students are expected to have advantages in the huge and ever-growing biomedical sector of the job market, such as pharmaceutical companies and hospitals in Singapore. NTU is um, one of the top universities in computational sciences in the world. There haven't been that much data sciences related uh, approaches in biology just because there wasn't enough data at the time. But now we can actually combine these two fields, so computational sciences and uh, biology, to actually answer these important biological questions. I do find the things I learned in this program is very useful to my day-to-day -day work. Uh, I really appreciate that this program didn't go straight away into teaching us how to code a machine learning model, but instead it started with uh, the basic statistics, machine learning, how machine learning model works, as well as e explaining the importance of data pre-processing. I feel that this program really focused on uh, training the logical thinking and skills for for us to approach any data science pro problems instead of a simple step-by-step -step guidance uh, without explaining why. And other than this, the program also provided us with uh, two apprenticeship programs, uh, one within the biomedical fields and the other with a more business or industrial focus. So I feel such hands-on experience is very useful for us in job interviews, no matter if it's for a research role or an industrial role. When I was in this course, right, we are exposed to a module called Experimental Data Science. So in this module, we actually work with McKinsey consultants uh, to work on a real-life project. So we applied the skills that we have learned in this course to work on a real-life project as part of our module, uh, our coursework module. And during this time when I was working, on the real life project. I felt that this, the things that uh, we learn in this course is quite relevant to applying uh, to industrial work. Yeah, so graduates of this program in biological data science uh, will, I think, have a, you know, a broad uh, array of uh, options to choose from. Uh, so for example, they can continue in research in the universities, institutes of higher learning in ASTAR, for example. Uh, they will also have opportunities to work in the hospitals. Uh, hospitals are not just wards where nurses and doctors treat patients. There's a very uh, elaborate back-end where a lot of research has been done. So that's another area where you know, data science can be very useful. Uh, the students can also go on to you know, the pharma industry, uh, biomanufacturing, pharmaceutical manufacturing, uh, which is very quantitative, very analytical. Uh, of course, the skills that the students learn in data science are very generally applicable to many other domains outside of biology as well. NTU is a diverse community, uh, like for supervisors here, they are the leaders from their own research field and you can um, have so many uh, questions to ask from different kind of area like computer science, biomedicine, and also for the data science. For students, we come from different countries such as China, India, and US, and UK. So it's a really good chance to 
uh, work with different uh, work with different culture, so this benefit us a lot. It's really a good experience here. Besides a very rigorous curriculum where we train students, we have also incorporated many opportunities for the students into this program as well. For example, we have tie-ups with AI Singapore and also Astri Innovate to bring interesting opportunities to the students. Through SG Innovations, we have an agreement via the summation scheme where students can actually interview with companies and try to get direct internship opportunities into the company itself. Inside these companies, they will work on deep tech development where they will be doing prototyping and also data analytics for these companies. I believe that having early insertion and experience in an entrepreneurial setting or a startup setting, it builds in critical resilience in a student. And I believe that this resilience will see them through for the rest of their lives. Another very important aspect of this program and in terms of opportunity is the immersion program or the, or the BIM SIS program that we have developed as part of this uh, master's. So this BIM SIS immersion scheme is a one of a kind training opportunity where we try to maximize the student's time. There is a window of opportunity where the students can actually be inserted right into real laboratories where they can learn from our university professors on a more personal setting. They can use these opportunities not only to deepen their understanding of the biomedical and healthcare domains, but they will also be able to develop friendships and relationships with both the professors and their colleagues in order right, to think about what, truly, what they truly want to do right, in the professional setting when they graduate as well. This can be in the form of going, pursuing a PhD in the future, whether they choose to pursue science, or they might find that now that they understand the science and the technology, but perhaps pure research is not for them, and therefore right, this will help them make a much more informed decision if they so decide to go into the company setting as well. I haven't heard about anything similar like the course, the reflective scientists in other universities. And we think that uh, this course will give the students an unprecedented opportunity to jump into the shoes of experienced scientists and view what they have learned with their eyes. No other place delivers that at this moment. So join NTU and uh, at this course. Yeah.